Please stand. Bless the Lord who forgives all our sins. His mercy endures forever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, The first commandment is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Dearly beloved, let us come into the presence of the Almighty God, Praying together as we kneel. Please kneel. Together. Most, Most merciful God, God I, confess I confess that I have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what I have done and by what I have left undone. I have not loved you with my whole heart. I have not loved my neighbor as myself. I am truly sorry, and I humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on me and forgive me, that I may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins to our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done. Surpassing human understanding. Your ways our ways of righteousness and truth. O King of all ages, who can fail to do your homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, let us pray. Almighty God, you know that we have no power in ourselves to help ourselves. Keep us both outwardly in our bodies and inwardly in our souls, that we may be defended from all adversities which may happen to the body and from all evil thoughts which may assault and hurt the soul. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A proclamation of the word of God from the book of the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 4, from chapter 7, from verses 21 to 34. Jeremiah, chapter 7, verses 21 to 34. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, add your burnt offerings to your sacrifices and eat flesh. For I did not speak to your fathers or command them in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt concerning burnt offerings and sacrifices. But this is what I commanded them, saying, 
Obey my voice, and I will be your God, and you will be my people, and you will walk in all the way which I command you, that it may be well with you. Yet they did not obey or incline their ear, but walked in their own counsels and in the stubbornness of their evil heart, and went backward and not forward. Since the day that your fathers came out of the land of Egypt until this day, I have sent you all my servants, the prophets, daily rising early and sending them. Yet they did not listen to me or incline their ear, but stiffened their neck. They did evil more than their fathers. And you shall speak all these words to them, but they will not listen to you. And you shall call to them, but they will not answer you. And you shall say to them, This is the nation that did not obey the voice of the Lord their God or accept correction. Truth has perished and has been cut off from their mouth. Cut off your hair and cast it away, and take up a lamentation on the, on the bare heights. For the Lord has rejected and forsaken the generation of his wrath. For the sons of Judah have done that which is evil in my sight, declares the Lord. They have set their detestable things in the house which is called by my name to defile it. And they have built the high places of Topheth, which is in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to burn their sons and their daughters in the fire which I did not command, and it did not come into my mind. Therefore, behold, days are coming, declares the Lord, when it will no more be called Topheth, or the valley of the son of Hinnom, but the valley of the slaughter, for they will bury in Topheth, because there is no other place. And the dead bodies of these people will be food for the birds of the sky and for the beasts of the earth, and no one will frighten them away. Then I will make to cease from the cities of Judah and from the streets of Jerusalem the voice of joy and the voice of gladness, the voice of, bri of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, for the land will become a ruin. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Please stand for the responsorial psalm, which is taken from Psalm 78, from verses 1 to 39. Psalm 78, 1 to 39. Listen, O my people, to my instruction. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will, I will open, open my, my mouth in a parable. parable. I will, I will utter dark, dark sayings of old, which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us. We will, we will not conceal them from their children, but tell to the generation to come the praises, the praises of the Lord, and His strength and His wondrous works that He has done. For He established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel which he commanded our fathers, that they should teach them to their children. That the generation to come might know, even the children yet to be born, that they may arise and tell them to their children. That they should put their confidence in God and not forget the works of God, but keep his commandments. And not be like their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation that did not prepare its heart and whose spirit was not faithful to God. The sons of Ephraim were archers equipped with bows, yet they turned back in the day of battle. They did, they did not keep the covenant of God and refused to walk in His law. And they forgot His deeds and His miracles that He had shown them. He wrought wonders before their fathers in the land of Egypt, in the field of Zoan. He divided the sea and caused them to pass through, and he made the waters stand up like a heap. 
Then he led them with a cloud by day, and all the night with the lights of fire. He split the rocks in the wilderness and gave them abundant drink like the ocean depths. He brought forth streams also from the rock and caused waters to run down like rivers. Yet they still continued to sin against me or against him to rebel against the Most High in the desert. And, and in, in their, their hearts they put God to the test by asking food according to their, their desire. desire. Then they spoke against God. They said, Can God prepare a table in the wilderness? Behold, Behold he, struck he struck the rock so that the waters gushed out and streams, streams were overflowing. Can, can he give bread also? Will he provide meat for his people? Therefore the Lord heard and was full of wrath, and a fire was kindled against Jacob, and anger also mounted against Israel. Because they did not believe in God and did not trust in his salvation. Yet he commanded the clouds above and opened the doors of heaven. He rained down manna from them to eat and gave them food from heaven. Man did eat the bread of angels. He sent them food in abundance. He caused the east wind to blow in the heavens, and by his power he directed the south wind. When he rained meat upon them like the dust, even winged fall like the sand of the seas. Then, then he, he let them, them fall in the midst of their camp, round about their dwellings. dwellings. So they ate and were filled, and were well filled, and their desire he gave to them. Before they had satisfied their desire, while their food was in their mouths, the anger of God rose against them and killed some of their stoutest ones and subdued the choice men of Israel. In spite of all this, they still sinned and did not believe in his wonderful works. So he brought their days to an end in futility and their years in sudden terror. When, when he killed them, then they sought him and returned and searched diligently for God. And they remembered that God was their rock and the most high God, their redeemer. But they deceived him with their mouth and then lied to him with their tongue. For their heart was not steadfast toward him, nor were they faithful in his covenant. But, but he, being compassionate, forgave their iniquity and did not destroy them. And often he restrained his anger and they did not arouse all his wrath. Thus he remembered that they were but flesh, a wind that passes and does not return. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please be seated. The second proclamation of the Word of God from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans, chapter 4, from verses 13 to 25. Romans, chapter 4, from verses 13 to 25. For the promise to Abraham or to his descendants that he would be heir of the world was not through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. For if those who are of the law are heirs, faith is made void and the promise is nullified. For the law brings about wrath, but where there is no law, neither is there violation. For this reason, it is by faith that it might be in accordance with grace, in order that the promise may be certain to all, of the, to all the descendants, not only to those who are of the law, but also to those who are of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. As it is written, a father of many nations have I made you. In the sight of him whom he believed, even God who gives life to the dead, 
and calls into being that which does not exist. In hope against hope, he believed in order that he might become a father of many nations according to that which had been spoken, so shall your descendants be. And without becoming weak in faith, he contemplated his own body, now as good as dead, since he was about a hundred years old, and the deadness of Sarah's womb. Yet, with respect to the promise of God, he did not waver in unbelief, but grew strong in faith, giving glory to God. And being fully assured that what he had promised, he was able also to perform. Therefore also it was reckoned to him as righteousness. Now, not for his sake only was it written that it was reckoned to him, but for our sake also, to whom it will be reckoned as those who believe in him who raised Jesus our Lord from the dead, he who was delivered up because of our transgressions and was raised because of our justification. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Lord be on our minds, our lips, and our hearts as we hear his holy gospel. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. John, chapter 7. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Now on the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If anyone is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture said, from his innermost being will flow rivers of living water. But this he spoke of the Spirit, whom those who believed in him were to receive, for the Spirit was not yet given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. Some of the people, therefore, when they heard these words, were saying, This certainly is the prophet. Others were saying, This is the Christ. Still others were saying, Surely the Christ is not going to come from Galilee, is he? Has not the scripture said that the Christ comes from the descendants of David and from Bethlehem, the village where David was? So a division occurred in the crowd because of him. Some of them wanted to seize him but no one laid hands on him. The officers then came to the chief priests and prophets, and they said to them, Why did you not bring him? The officers answered, Never has a man spoken the way this man speaks. The, the Pharisees then answered them, You have not also been led astray, have you? No one of the rulers of the, or Pharisees has been has believed in him, has he? But this crowd which also not know the law is accursed. Nicodemus, he who came to him before being one of them, said to them, Our law does not judge a man unless it first hears him from him and knows what he is doing, does it? They answered him, You are not also from Galilee, are you? Search and see that no prophet arises out of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Please be seated. Marami tayong dapat ipagpasalamat sa Diyos dahil 
sa aklamasyon natin parate araw-araw during Lent, we are reminded that His mercies endures forever. No? Especially, yun sa ating song, no, sa katigasan ng ulo ng mga Israelita, bagamat sila ay matigas ang ulo, mahaba pa rin ang pasensya ng Diyos sa kanila. Well, makikita natin, misan, ano ba talaga ang nagiging problema? No? Nagiging problema ng isang tao. Bakit? In spite of the goodness of the Lord, we still go back to our old ways and do our own thing. Mostly siguro because tayo ay bulag. No? Bulag tayo sa katotohanan. Bulag tayo sa mga bagay na ginagawa ng Diyos at sa Kanyang itinuturo. Kaya hindi natin nakikita yung Kanyang kabutihan. O, kasi ang nakaka sa ating buhay madalas is yung mga preconceived ideas natin sa ating buhay. That eventually, we believe in those things and we live it out. Kasi yun ang nagiging problema natin. No? Pinangungunahan tayo madalas ng ating mga sariling desire. At yun ang uh, naglilid sa atin kung paano natin pinamumuhay yung ating buhay. Hindi naaayon patungkol sa kabutihan ng Diyos na dinudulot niya sa atin at ipinakikita niya sa atin. Sa ating ibanghelyo ngayong umaga ay tila parang review. No, review ng gospel natin nung linggo patungkol sa pagiging uhaw. No? Ngayon na inuulit ng Panginoon na sa kanya nagbumula ang tubig, ang buhay na tubig. At dito, pinapakita niya rin, sinasabi niya sa atin, na itong bagay na ito hindi pagkauhaw na physical, pero ito ay pagkauhaw sa ating espiritu. Dahil yung rivers of uh, flowing uh, yung rivers of living water that flows no, na sa atin infinitely na matatanggap natin ay matatanggap lamang natin sa pamagitan ng Holy Spirit pag tayo ay naniwala sa Kanya. So we are reminded today again that we should look beyond the physical and let us open our spiritual eyes to the things that are happening in the midst of us. No? Na-share nga ni Bishop nung nakaraang linggo, nung no, kami ay nag-meeting, ay patungkol doon sa isang story na hindi ko makalimutan. At nasa internet din naman ito, patungkol doon sa Chinese farmer. Hindi ko na ho kikwentong buo, pwede nyo naman ho tignan sa internet. Nasabi doon, ang pinakamagandang statement doon is, maybe so, or maybe not. Ibig sabihin lamang noon, sa mga story ang nangyari sa Chinese farmer, hindi mo madidiscern agad kung ito ay mabuti o masama, unless nandudong ka na sa sitwasyon, na kinakaharap mo. At pinare-remind tayo na makita natin ng, ang mga bagay-bagay in the whole picture. Hindi lamang doon sa moment na kinabibilangan natin, pero higit pa doon sa mga uh, paglipas ng panahon o sa buong picture na makikita natin. May kita din natin dito na with, rela- with, re- with that in relation doon sa unang parte ng gospel natin that Jesus expresses no, that the living water will come from Him. Itong mga pariseyo ngayon ay nagtatalo at ang propesya, makikita natin na ang, ang Kristo ay magmumula sa Bethlehem. Pero ang akala nila pag na si Jesus, bagamat siya ay parating nasa Galilee, ay kala nila ay Galilean si Jesus. Dahil mostly ng kanyang ministry ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo ay sa Galilee. At ang Galilee ay isang lugar o kilala ang mga Galilean, no, sa titingnan natin sa scripture, eh, ito yung uh, bayan ng mga zealots. O ano may mga zealots? Sila yung mga rebelde. No? Sila yung mga uh, napupuot sa pangungulekta ng buwis ng mga Romano. Kung isipin natin sa panahon natin ngayon, sila yung mga rebelde, sila yung mga raligista. No? So, hindi nila nakikita si Kristo as Christ because dahil do sa nakikita lamang nila na siya ay nagmula sa Galilee. Pero in truth, no, siya ay galing sa Bethlehem. And going back to our first reading sa Jeremiah, makikita din natin dito na napakaganda ng instruction ng Panginoon, ng Diyos. No? Napaka-simple at straightforward. Ang sabi niya doon sa ating first reading na ito, ikukonsize ko na lang, Obey my voice 
and all will be well. So napakadali, sundin nyo aking boses, sundin nyo aking mga utos, at lahat ay magiging mabuti sa inyo. Pero sabi doon sa verse 24, Yet they did not obey or incline their ear, but walk in their own counsels and in the stubbornness of their evil heart, and went backward and not forward. So nagregress sila. Why? Because of their stubbornness, because of their hard heart, o matitigas yung kanilang puso, dahil sila ay nabubulagan sa mga bagay-bagay. Mas nanaig yung kanilang mga sariling desisyon, yung kanilang mga sariling counsel, at hindi nila nakikita beyond what kung sila dinadala ng Diyos. Katulad na lamang nung linggo, yung ating reading doon, yung thirst nila ay nagdulot sa kanila para lalo silang lumayo sa Panginoon. Dahil sa pamagitan ng thirst nila, nisip nila na mas mabuti pa yata, nandun lang kami sa, sa Egypto. Doon, di kami mauuhaw. Di lalo mo pa kami sa wilderness. At dito, dito mo pa kami papatayin sa uhaw. Kasi kung titignan natin, ang gutom at uhaw magkaiba. Ang gutom, pwede mong tiisin. Sabi nga sa, sa, sa science, uh, scientific basis natin, o sa pag-aaral natin sa science, na ang tao pwedeng mabuhay ng hindi kumakain ng 2 to 3 months. Pero hindi siya maaaring mabuhay ng hindi umiinom ng 2 to 3 months. So, tatagal ka, miski hindi ka kumakain ng 2 to 3 months, ng hindi kumakain, pero pagka wala kang tubig, isang linggo lang ay pwede ka nang bawian ng buhay. Dito ay nabubulagan sila sa kabutihan ng Diyos. Hindi nila nakikita na mahal sila ng Diyos at dinadala sila ng Diyos sa isang lugar na mas maganda at para at kapakinabang para sa kanila. So, naisip ko tuloy na parang patuloy ito nangyayari sa buhay natin, especially sa ating mga Pilipino. Bigyan natin halimbawa yung mga nakatira sa mga estero, nagtsatsaga sa estero, sa yung mga nakatira sa ilalim ng tulay, which is delikado. Minsan kasi pag tumataas ang tubig sa ilalim ng tulay, maaari silang tangit. Marami na nangyayaring ganyang bagay dito sa Pilipinas, lalong-lalo na dito sa Mekeson City. No, sa may Rojas District, no? mabilis tumaas ang tubig dyan. At ang gobyerno natin ay gumagawa ng paraan para maibsan ang pagkukulang na ito. Gumagawa sila ng pabahay sa mga medyo malalayang lugar, sa mga hindi masyadong populated area. Pero ang response kadalasan na naririnig natin sa mga informal settlers is ayaw nila pumunta doon sa dinesignate ng gobyerno para sa kanila kasi wala daw buhay doon, malayo daw sa kanilang kabuhayan. So, kung iisipin natin, nakikita lamang nila yung pansamantalang sitwasyon kung nasaan sila. Hindi nila nakikita yung potensyal ng paglipat nila sa ibang lugar na meron silang komunidad doon. No? Maaari siguro, meron din silang basketball court, magkakaroon sila ng health center. Hindi tulad dito sa Maynila, na sinisiksik nila yung sarili nila sa ilalim ng tulay, sa mga estero, which is delikado. At kadalasan, pag merong sakit, lalo-lalo na kung dengue, mabilis kumalat ang sakit. O ganun din no, sa pagpapatayo ng gusali. Ngayon sa, sa atin dito, nagpapatayo tayo ng gusali. Misan niniisip natin, ba't sa panahon pa na ganito na mataas ang inflation? Bakit sa ganitong bagay pa, sa panahon pang ito? No? Meron ba tayong sapat na pera? O misan ito ay sinasabi natin, napakalaking gastos. No? Kahit ano namang pagpapatayo ng struktura ay malaking gastos. Pero we should see beyond that gastos. Kasi after that gastos, makikita natin is walang humpay na ginhawa. Hindi tayo nag-aalala kung saan tayo pupulutin. So naiisip ko tuloy yung sitwasyon namin dati sa Novaliches na nagsimula yung simbahan doon na garahe lamang. At garahe ang meron doon. At eventually, nagkaroon ng trapal. And then, pagka minsan linggo, tumetsempong malakas ang ulan, malakas ang hangin, naanggihan yung mga tao. At yun, eventually, matagal na panahon, mga ilang taon din ang binilang, na naitayo yung building na paganda, sarado na, hindi na umaanggi. So, naranas siya ay na-assign doon. At ni Father Leo, siya ay sapung taon na-assign doon bilang vicar. So, makikita natin na sa panahon ngayon, o kaya katulad ng panahon sa ngayon sa Nobaliche, na pag umulan ay aanggi dahil sarado na yung building. Secured ka na. So, ito yung gusto ko sana makita natin na mabuksan yung ating mga mata 
dahil pagka mata lalo na spiritual eyes. Kasi kung hindi nabubuksan o sarado ang ating mga spiritual eyes, ito ay nagudulot ng doubt, ng confusion, ng disobedience, and lack of faith. So, sa araw-araw ng ating buhay, kailangan uh, hilingin natin sa Panginoon na buksan ang ating mga mata at patawarin tayo sa ating mga pagkukulang. No? Sabi nga sa isang kanta no, ni Don Moe na, huwag daw nating maliitin ng Diyos. No? Let us not, uh, we should not make God too small in our eyes. But let us see clearly beyond the physical. Amen. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us all stand. Together in faith, let us profess the Apostles' Creed. Together, I believe, I believe in God, God the, the Father Almighty, Creator, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church and the world. Almighty Father, we lift before you, your holy Catholic Church, that you would lead us in truth, baptize us in love, and unite us in spirit. We pray for her leaders, especially Bishop Craig and Bishop Ariel, that they may with one voice minister your life to your people and the world. We lift before you, the people of this community, this nation, and the world, that we may honor one another and serve the common good. We pray for our governmental leaders, especially President Marcos, that you would lead them in the ways of justice and peace. We lift before you all who suffer in body, mind, or spirit, that you would send your comfort and grace upon them. Father God, we lift up to you, our brethren, Lord God, that, that your divine healing be, be, may be upon them. We lift up to you, Antonio Season Jr., Gloria Cabatingan, Lisa Arsenio, Elvira Buede, Peng Lara, Fer Lau, Marlon Rodriguez, Esperanza Cesepia, Jose Arellano, Emily Brainy, Bishop Prakash Yuhana, Torana Bland, Geraldine Season, Ramil Delis. Heidi Van Brusso, Susan Reynoso, Leila Ramos, Lori Angeles. May your mercy and grace be upon them, O God. Give to the departed eternal rest. Grant that we may share with them in your everlasting kingdom. Together, let us now lift our corporate petition. Almighty, Almighty God and King, King our, our dwelling place in all gen generations, Owner of the, the earth and, and all it contains, grant unto us our allotted inheritance, we pray, and the, the grace to build upon it facilities in which your people, being restored in your image and ever growing in love for you, might become a habitation of your presence and ministers of your life to the glory of Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns together with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Gracious Father, having received peace with you through Jesus Christ and love in our hearts through the Holy Spirit, may we be confident of your eternal presence among us, standing in your grace as witnesses of your glory. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. 
and with your spirit. Let's offer one another a sign of God's peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. With joy and gladness in our hearts, let us offer our thanks and praises unto God. Here below. Praise Him above ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become the body of Christ. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become the blood of Christ. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we bring these tithes and offerings before you. They will be used in your church for the work you have set before us and the furthering of your kingdom. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord you bid your faithful people to cleanse their hearts and to prepare with joy for the paschal feast that fervent in prayer and in the works of mercy and renewed by your word and sacraments they may come to the fullness of grace which you have prepared for those who love you Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Together. Holy, 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 Lord God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your words spoken through the prophets, and above all in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, and out of death into life. And we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. Please kneel. We pray, you gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Please stand. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died, died. Christ, Christ is risen, risen. Christ, Christ will come again. again. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. Remember your servants Craig, our patriarch, and Ariel, our bishop, all the clergy, and all your faithful people. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ, and bring us to that heavenly country where with all your saints we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church, and the author of salvation. By him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Together. On this day, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Jesus died for you, and feed on him your hearts with thanksgiving.
us pray all together. Eternal, Eternal God, God Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, you have, have graciously accepted us as living, living members of your Son, our, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you, and you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace. And grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. In the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Amen. Amen.